Apple has just recently held its WWDC 2022 event in which it announced new M2-powered MacBooks. But ahead of the schedule, the company has also received clearance for a new feature for its Watch Series 8, which can possibly save lives. During the WWDC event, the Cupertino-based giant had revealed the new Watch OS 9, which is set to bring a number of new features. One of these included a new biomonitoring sensor for AFib burden detection. As per official notes, the brand's latest Apple Watch will be able to detect irregular rhythm by monitoring the heartbeat. These irregular rhythms could be indicative of arterial fibrillation (AFib). For those unaware, an AFib occurs when the lower and upper chambers of the heart do not beat in sync. So, the new Apple Watch Series 8 that is expected to launch later this year could monitor how often a person is in a state of arterial fibrillation over a period of time. <laughs> Whoa, isn't it amazing? Notably, My Healthy Apple reported that the FDA has even given the iPhone maker clearance for the AFib tracking feature. When shipped, the Watch Series 8 might be able to save lives through this feature. AFib affects as many as 9% of the population that is above the age of 65 or older and 2% of the population below 65 years of age. However, some of the people affected by AFib never experience any symptoms, and if left untreated, it could lead to risk of heart failure or a stroke. I'm sure you guys must be excited to know more about this watch after hearing about the fantastic feature we discussed. But the question arises, when will the Apple Watch 8 launch in 2022? Unless Apple has suddenly changed its way of doing things, we can take an educated guess. The Apple Watch Series 7 was launched in September 2021, and Series 6 in September 2020, and the Series 5 in September 2019. You can see where I'm going with this. So unless Apple has decided to think different in 2022, we'd expect the Apple Watch Series 8 launch date to be September 2022, possibly with a few weeks wait before the models actually go on sale. Means we are just a few months away. Let's talk about the smartwatch. We're still quite early in the summer cycle, but reports suggest that we'll see a new ruggish model design for athletes and outdoor sports enthusiasts. And the Apple Watch Series 8 is also expected to gain a new body temperature sensor. Rumors of other sensors such as glucose, alcohol, and blood pressure haven't been substantiated so far, and I think seems unlikely at this stage. About the pricing. We're expecting the Apple Watch Series 8's price to be similar to the current range, so around $399, 369 pounds, 599 Australian dollars for the smaller aluminum GPS model, and around $499, 469 pounds, and 749 Australian dollars for the LTE model, with prices escalating steeply when you get into the fancier case options. The Apple Watch Series 8 isn't the only flagship watch we're expecting to see later this year. Samsung has its Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, while Google has its Pixel Watch. The latter has very clearly been designed as a direct rival of the Apple Watch, although so far it seems that the specification will be more modest than that of the Samsung. Although now Google owns Fitbit, its Fitbit integration could make it more compelling than many other Wear OS watches. It's going to be an interesting year for key wearables, that's for certain, but you'll have to wait a little bit longer before things really kick off, as it's going to be September at the earliest before the big releases begin to roll out. So guys, this was the end of our today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you really did, then smash the like button and subscribe to the most gadgets-friendly channel, Gadgets Times.